Hey YouTube! Hey guys, what's up? So I got a request to do a video on what kind of books that I would recommend for a prospective student or someone who's just really interested in naturopathic medicine. Actually, Bastier has a link on their website for suggested readings for those who are interested in coming to naturopathic medical school. So I'll link that below as well, but I'll also be just going through some of those books that they listed already. So the first book that I think is really important for everyone who's interested in naturopathic medicine is called Nature Doctors. Nature Doctors is about pioneers of naturopathic medicine and it starts with Vincent Presnitz who basically laid the foundations for nature cure and nature cure is the idea that natural agents such as air, water, herbs, sunshine, um, diets can treat diseases. And the book talks about all these nature doctors throughout history and it ends on John Bessier who is considered the father of modern naturopathic medicine. The next book that I would recommend is My Water Cure, which is by actually Sebastian ne Nape? Ne I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> he is one of the pioneers of naturopathic medicine and he's considered the world's most famous nature doctor. He was actually a priest, but eventually took an interest in water cure. He found that it was a non-invasive and cheap way to heal certain diseases um, or ailments that people had, and he treated a lot of people locally and gained a lot of followers through that. Next is Nature Cure by Dr. Henry Lindlar, and he's actually a medical doctor, and he is also considered the founder of scientific naturopathy. So there was this nature cure movement that began around the early 20th century, and he made that popular in the West. And in his book, he just goes into depth about nature cure and why physicians should really keep an open mind about it and how it can benefit patients. And the the last book that I have that I would recommend for anyone interested in naturopathic medicine is called Vitalism by Matthew Wood. He talks about physicians who laid the groundwork for naturopathic medicine. So with Vitalism, the idea is that we all have this vital life force. Like for instance, when we're sick, that means that our this or our vitality is weak and we need to strengthen it. It's sort of similar to the um, Chinese medicine concept of qi and that our body has energy flowing throughout us. So Bastyr actually has more books written on their list of suggested readings, but I don't have them. So I'm just gonna go through and pick a few that I think would be the most beneficial for you guys to read. So one of the books listed on their website is called Nature's Path by Susan Califf. And she talks about the history and culture of naturopathy, as well as the development of naturopathic medicine philosophies and therapeutics. An Introduction to Principles and Practices of Naturopathic Medicine by Fraser Smith also seems like a really good book. It's basically uh, an introductory textbook to the principles and practices of naturopathic medicine. The A Capella Singer Who Lost Her Voice and Other Stories from Natural Medicine written by Amy Rothenberg also seems like a really cool book. And basically it's a collection of essays and patient cases that she treated with naturopathic medicine. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Every Friday, keep an eye out for a new video. I've gotten a few questions about like myths about naturopathic medicine and I know there's like a lot of crazy information on the web, um, but I plan on doing a video series about debunking those myths and giving you guys the truth. Just be careful where those sources are from, what kind of people are writing those articles. You know, there's a lot of conflict. People could be getting paid for it, or maybe they just had a personal bad experience with naturopathic medicine, who knows? But me and probably um, a fellow classmate of mine are gonna do a video series for you guys so that we can kind of clear that up for you. Bye guys.